Hey guys, this is Tavi here, and I'm doing a commentary video on Rome Total War. I am in command of the SPQR Romans, and my opponent is commanding the Scipii Romans. Uh, so I think this is Moon River, and I'm actually going to try to replicate uh, Prince of Macedon's strategy of winning here. So I'll go over that in a, uh, in a minute or two. Uh, this is a 100k battle, I think, because I have all these elite units, urban cohorts, Praetorian cavalry, is the main composition of my force. Uh, so to begin with, I have uh, six Praetorian cavalry squadrons. And in addition, I have nine urban cohorts and a legionary first cohort. Two urban cohorts are hiding here in this forest and two Praetorian cavalry in this little uh, wooded area. And in my front ranks are the four archer auxilia units. Uh, so to commence my fight or the battle, I move in one archer auxilia to the front of this bridge here. Uh, I should have moved them in loose formation, which was not good. Very well, it was really stupid of me to move them in tight formation. My opponent started raining arrows on me, fire arrows. For some reason, he should have not chosen fire arrows because. Uh, they they only decrease my unit's morale, but it's only one unit. So I moved them out anyway. I tried to lure my opponent in, and his name is General Maximus. Uh, so he's still firing at my archers, and I move them back. I'm trying to show my opponent that I won't be contending over this bridge, because that's exactly what Mastodon did, Prince of Mastodon. And I actually only have two Praetorian Cavalry Squadrons uncovered because I have hid um, the other two just here because I might as well. So my opponent's army, he's got a unit of incendiary pigs. He, he, uh, he looks like he's going to try and defend this area. Um, he's got Triarii and a legionary cohort. Uh, so he's got in total, he's got four Argeogs, Archer Auxilia, just like me. He's got a legionary first cohort, two, two of them. I don't know, I can't remember if he's hiding anything in these woods, but we'll see. And he's got four urban cohorts as well, and three heavy onagers. And some Pro Praetorian cavalry, looks like there are three of them and a Roman armoured general right at the back uh, occupying this little hill here. So I move my unhidden Praetorians here uh, and my opponent re re retaliates with sending two Praetorian cavalry to cross this uh, this little area that is crossable and he sends in two archer auxilia as well. So he's crossing here and I've only got one Praetorian cavalry just sitting there. Uh, I'm moving my urban cohorts as well. Uh, I'm trying to make him think that's my only force. Uh, so there he is. The bridge is... Uh, nothing happens on that. He unleashes his fire arrows on my Praetorian Cavalry and I retreat with them uh, and then attack. So I still haven't chosen to uh, take these Praetorian Cavalry out of hiding because I can actually route my enemy without the help of my hidden units. And I move these guys back as well. Uh, out of their heavy onagers uh, range. 
I also give chase after these Protonian Cavalry, but not for long. Move back out, and there's all these Archer Auxilia just sitting there waiting to be attacked. So I cross with my Urbans instead and move these Praetorians back. And this means that I've cut off these Praetorian Cavalry. Uh, I don't actually chase with the urbans, I just have them here. Uh, and they're charging right, they stop here. So none of my hidden units are unhidden. Uh, and unfortunately he goes to this little forest and finds out I have hidden cavalry here. So he gets destroyed, uh, but that's a third of my hidden units down. There he is, he routes. And his Praetorian, his Ongers also help with that. So I move my men into Testudo uh, to decrease damage from the archers, but I could really just cross this and destroy them, but I think I was weary of the forest here. Uh, so I didn't grab that chance. But General Maximus doesn't look like he wants to cross this river. Although, as I said, it, he actually starts to cross. He moves his heavy honor just forward. But he's keeping the main body of his force back. So he moves these guys in. And I'm sending my Praetorian Cavalry, finally, to... I don't know to what, but... I send them here. Yep, they're going to cross. Move my Urbans out the way, and here they are. Uh, Praetorian Cavalry will charge these guys down, and... Uh, he, he moves his archers back and sends Praetorian Cavalry in. So, too late. He's going to charge my Praetorians with his Praetorians. We'll see who win. I move back. Uh, I have my urbans ready. Meanwhile, on the river, there are uh, the Triarii and a legionary first cohort getting uh, uh, fired on by my four archer auxilia. So he moves them back. He moves his legionaries back or he's kind of maneuvering here. Trying to make him cross this river with more of his troops. Uh, and his heavy onagers are trying to destroy my force but they're missing so far. A few guys died here but Ouch. See, that's some damage that heavy onagers can do, like 10 guys died. Uh, so I moved back these Praetorians here, and my opponent uh, withdrew with his Praetorian cavalry as well. So here I am, I move my left wing of the Praetorian cavalry. Uh, who get absolutely destroyed by an onager and to charge these guys uh, it wasn't too good a charge it was just to make my opponent more confident that he can cross this area and I, I had much more Praetorian cavalry anyway so I didn't really care if I lost these guys, but the rest of my legions are actually under heavy fire from these onagers. Ouch. I do not like to see my men die like that. That's almost half of these urbans dead. So I move my, all my men back again. To try and make my opponent cross. And he has moved up. 
Uh, he's going to uh, cross with these archers, uh, which is good. And he has Praetorian cavalry guarding this little area that can be crossed. In reserve he still has these incendiary pigs which can cause havoc if used correctly but from, when I, from the times I've played with incendiary pigs they've not really done much to my advantage so I never buy them. So here I am I've linked up my Praetorians on the right and I've moved all my force back these urbans here have still not been discovered by my opponent and same goes for these Praetorian cavalry on the left uh, so my opponent is still wary of crossing although he is close to the bridge at least closer than he was before so I'm managing to lure him in he's moving more and more of his forces and these archers do look like bait for these Praetorians so he also moves more of his men and then he starts to cross with everybody and as it, that is happening he moves his armored general here and he's already moved an urban cohort and archer Aguzalia along with Praetorian cavalry which have already been here. So I make a move and I start crossing with these urbans. Or maybe not, I just move them up here. And I cross. Seeing that his general is there, I'll take him on. So, while that's happening, I also start charging with my Praetorian cavalry at his general. Uh, the objective of the of this right wing is to kill his general, and I also move up with my main force to meet my opponent, since he's been crossing the river. Uh, so I wait until all his men are over, uh, and they're already under fire by my archers. And I've uh, unlocked, well, un enabled rather, uh, flaming arrows because he's got a large, large concentration of men here. So it's great to rain fire arrows on them. And I charge uh, with these guys. They're edging over but they will charge soon. I was also fighting down here with my urbans. Uh, and my opponent is actually winning this fight on the right wing without the support of my Praetorians so I send them in as well. Uh, my opponent is also firing his heavy onagers which are dealing a bit of damage. You can see a lot of dead bodies here. That is a lot of wasted lives but oh well. and I move closer in. He thinks he can take me on. So I'm very close. I'm trying to kind of postpone this bat this main battle uh, to let my right wing surround these guys. But these units are heavily, heavily depleted. But I send them in anyway. And I exchange fire off Pila with my opponent and charge with my front lines there's the purples and the blues fighting it out so you, he moves these archers back onto the bridge and I close in with the rest of my force now that I'm looking at this battle I should have used the rest of my pila uh, but th this is all fighting and I move these urban cohorts who are in hiding over there I'm 
gonna use them for this central battle to support my urbans and I charge with the rest of my Praetorian cavalry and my general on this le opponent's right wing uh, so they start wavering so I managed to shock my opponent on in this middle and he sent his incendiary pigs to actually do damage to his opponent uh, instead of me and here they are they actually well they run into the main fight but causing more damage to my opponent let's see what happens on the right here yep I lose he had Arcani hiding uh, and he used them and his general actually survived which was annoying and I had no more hidden units I could have used these urbans I used on there to kill this general once and for all but oh well he won on the right and he's the one actually surrounding me but at least I managed to surround these guys and the ma his main body will be annihilated you can see them all writing so I start um, crossing this river to attack the onagers who have been dealing so much damage to me and I attack these Arcani with my urbans and he's actually sending his archers in to fight as well in melee his general also starts writing after trying to attack my arch auxilia but with like 10 cavalry in total he couldn't really do much and there's a general he stopped to give an order while he was writing and I'm trying to shoot at him and kill him uh, but I'm not doing it very well so he manages, he manages to get away uh, but I'm winning here these are can he start routing and it was all over from there for my opponent there's these archer auxilia fighting to the death and I still haven't mm, charged on these heavy onagers but now I am and the player has admitted defeat General Maximus was defeated by Gelutavi in this river battle as I destroyed my opponent's heavy onagers. I didn't kill his general, but he didn't kill mine. My general was probably with an urban cohort or something. Uh, so, good game to General Maximus. He almost had as many kills as me, so it was quite a close battle. And... I had 200 more men than him as well because he had these heavy onagers and incendiary pigs who cost money but they don't have much manpower. So my opponent had 130 men remaining and I had 746. Just half of my force. So 50% casualties. Not too good in this pitched moon river I think it's called battle and I'll see you guys in the next battle.